I'm a dude playing Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. This is mission 15 of my Nero and Dante. Dante Must Die difficulty, video guide. I tried recording this immediately after the last time uh, after the last mission, and I was so tilted from all the horse shit. Because I got so salty from the faults, and I just played like shit, and I just died to, like, some fucking knights in no time. And it was so fucking sad that I just rage quit. Like, I was just... I was done, man. It was a shitty mission. Like, actually, I'm, without even talking about it myself, like, I saw some other people talking about it. And, um... Oh, I mistimed that. I've not warmed up yet. I don't warm up before these, so bear with me whilst I make a few mistakes. I saw some people actually just talking about Mission 14 right after I made the video without actually, um... Wow, I'm mistiming this badly. I might just... I'm going to restart, actually. <laughs> I should have warmed up first. Like, what I should really do is I should, like, jump into Bloody Palace and just warm up before I do these, but I don't. <laughs> like, Devil May Cry is a game where you do need to warm up a bit first. <clears throat> but I saw some people talking about Mission 14. Like, um, basically, there was a Reddit thread... And um, people were talking, someone was saying, um, what enemies do you want to see come back? Which I thought was a bit of a silly question, because I would have thought we'd all want new enemies. But, you know, it's a valid question. You know, maybe they could, like, put them in as something special, which I did mention. But people were, like, talking about enemies they didn't want to see. And people just said, Mission 14 in particular just sucked balls. And it's so nice to see that I'm not the only one that hates that shit, man. But yeah, this is mission 15. I can't believe I got hit there. Um, this is the best way of taking Blitz down as Dante. Well, not the best, but the quickest. Come on. I don't know exactly what the timing is, and you can imperfectly guard these, which I don't understand how. Like, you saw there how I lost a bit of health? I don't understand how you can imperfectly guard it, because surely you would block on the first frame that the hit comes out on. I've no idea what exactly causes it. Du, 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 du. You gonna stand still for me? Oh, how come? Really? Man, that's so gay. Come on. Maybe that'll work? No, that's just wrong. Oh. Bam. But yeah, I was so glad to see that I'm not the only one that, like, hated Mission 14. Like, and it's only because of faults. Like, the thing is that faults exist in Mission 18 as well. But, um... In Mission 18, you're on the move anyway. And you don't really stop and fight unless you're going for, like, the S rank. So it's not that big a deal. I don't have any Devil Trigger left over. I have just realized... Well, shit, I might die. Damn. <laughs> I really should warm up. Okay, so if you don't have any Devil Trigger, what I recommend is that until he does the dash, you just stay in the air shooting your guns. Because the thing is that you only really get caught by that if you're on the ground, obviously. So if you just keep yourself floating in the air, you shouldn't ever get caught by it. Man, I restarted, but I still lost half my health. <laughs> God, I should have warmed up. My hands are literally cold. But yeah, I'm just glad to see that I wasn't the only one that hated the last mission. Because seriously, fuck false, man. Like, I know the last video wasn't great. And that's just because like, I didn't commentate or anything like that. But god fucking damn it, I have a fair point. Um, I've forgotten the way through this level. It's been a while. Hmm. I think I go this way. Give me some health. Uh, I know that these things give you health. But yeah, we're almost at the end of this little guide here. I don't know what I'm going to work on next. I'm kind of tempted to, like, do a Virgil Legendary Dark Knight run where I just piss around. But the thing is, I'm not good enough to be super fancy and keep people's interest that way. So, I don't know. This is where I died last time. Man. After the last mission, I'm really, like, not sure exactly what fancy stuff I should do. <laughs> Easy Royal Guard. Gotten decent at that, actually. Easy dodge. <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, with the knights, you can just obviously use Dark Slayer, and they can't really do anything about it. Um, someone said that they wanted me to um, try and like do Royal Guard shit on all the bosses. And I think I will, because that sounds like a lot of fun. What's a nice camera angle? <laughs> oh man, that feels good. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to work on next. Like, it would be kind of cool to, like, I don't know. I, I'm thinking of doing, like, Lady and Triss, like, just jumping into Dante Must Die and just seeing if I can do it, but... I don't know, man. Like, I don't think a lot of people would be that interested. And I kind of want to work on some other stuff. Right, I want to try some jump-canceling shenanigans. Huh. <laughs> Mate, tell me what you like, but that is cool. Like, I won't believe you if you tell me otherwise. Oh, I thought I got hit there. Damn it, I hate how it knocks them away. I mean, it's fine because it's for difficulty purposes, but like... Oh. oh, wow, he actually had the frames to go through that. I remember it not being the case. Maybe they, like, changed it for... Damn it, I wasn't close enough to get the jump cancelling going. Let's try that. Whoops. Damn. I've not practiced jump cancelling that much. It's just ever since I did the echidna thing, I've um, wanted to try it a bit more, but apparently I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try and do some fancy royal guard shit on um, Dagon slash Bale. I always kind of refer to them as two because they're kind of the same thing but they're not but i know but i, I was um let's touch back on that point earlier about um the kinds of enemies we'd like to see return i just want to see new enemies man like if devil may cry 5 is real i want to see some new enemies i think they should definitely take inspiration from enemies they have already made oh nice i can actually piss around for once sick all right let's see what i can do with lucifer Okay, nothing. <laughs> I'm not good with Lucifer, never mind. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I just want to see new enemies. Like, they should definitely take inspiration. Like, um, I think they're called Hell Prides or something. From, um... Oops, I missed... Fu I fucked that up. I'm not warm. <laughs> but, um, the Hell Prides... Uh, from Devil May Cry 3 and the Scarecrows from this game, I think they should definitely take inspiration there and just have them as your basic this is your enemy on which you can combo guy. Um. <laughs> oh no. Man, they always do that as soon as I get next to them. Have you noticed? Game's fucking conspiring against me, man. <laughs> I have not learned my lesson. Oh, I couldn't jump. Can you jump cancel these guys? I wonder. Mm, you probably can do it in a way. Is there a specific, like... Hmm. I don't know. You probably have to have them, like, up against a wall or something, or something oddly specific. I know that these guys have, like, an awkward hitbox, so it wouldn't surprise me if it was just impossible on them. I didn't mean to do that, but sick. I'll take it anyway. Oh, wow. You're actually invincible for quite a while. Can you bring yourself out of it? No, you're just stuck in it now. Huh. I wonder if it's a strategy to, like, build up some royal gauge and then just wail on a boss by doing that. That'd be kind of sick. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> I didn't actually walk into this one with any sort of top in mind. So I don't really know what I should talk about. So I think I'll just talk about the mission. It's not a hard mission. Like, Dagon slash Bale is just not tricky at all. Um, I mean, like, there are definitely some things that can go wrong. Damn it, I want to try and get this jump cancelling down. Hmm. I know, I'll need to look up some, like, tutorials or some shit if you want to do it. I don't think it will, because, I mean, I've had some fun with Dante. But... I'm just not prepared to invest the time to get good at him. Like, it's just not the sort of thing that I want to do. What I want to do is, um, there's a game for the PS1 called Rayman that I really want to, like, 
do a recording on because it's just one of my favorite games of all time. Like it's one of those where I think a lot of um a lot of games today could take inspiration from. It's a basic 2D platformer, right? There's nothing special about it. But um Oh wow, they didn't give me a chance there. But um oh, I didn't mean to do a royal release there, it cost me my fucking bar. But like it was it's one of those where it was just so creative, man. Like the art was incredible. Boom. That was a lot of damage actually. Like there's just so much creativity in it, and I just wanted to like do a recording on it because Oh man, it's just so cool. Oh, I cancelled this thing. Damn it, I couldn't real guard that. I tried. Fucking died as a result. Feels bad, man. This is a bad spot to fight in. The camera angle is pretty terrible. Hmm. Do, 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 do. But yeah, I just want to like talk about creativity in games. Sorry, the commentary is not great, and that's just because I'm focusing. This is a hard fight. At least for a scrub like me. Hmm. Nah, I'm not going to try and style. I was thinking about like trying to royal guard all that shit, but... Oh man, I was caught in the frames. But I was going to kill myself if I tried that. Yeah, just like, I want to see more creativity, because a lot of games today just lack it. <clears throat> Alright, is it this way? I think it is, because this is where, like, you use the winged talisman, right? Yeah. Whoops. Alright, so we've got some green health in here. Sorry, I'm just trying to remember this mission. I think soon we've got that one with the fucking poison. Like the poison fog, which I hate, but... Eh, whatever. It's not that bad. Ah, yes, there we go, there we go. Been a while. This is quite a good mission, actually. I quite enjoy this one. I like the, um... I like the frog boss fight, as I discussed back in mission 4. Just because it's, like, really engaging. And I can't wait to see, like, what stupid shit I can do as Dante, if anything. I mean, like, it's entirely possible I'm not good enough, but we'll see. Damn. I really want to see if I can get some jump cancelling down. He's like... Hmm. What if I can get one of them in, right in the corner? Get in the corner. Damn. Right, so... Man, in Devil May Cry 3, that would just work. Like, you could, um... Oh, no. This is bad. <laughs> hmm. I wonder. I'm actually going to focus on the Blitz here. Damn it, you can't... Yeah, of course, you can't Royal Guard that because it's multiple hits. Hmm. This is bad. That's good. Ah, uh, I fucking... I tried to... I, what I did there was I tried to um, hit him out of his attack. But the hit stun wasn't there because he was devil triggered. Ooh, that was good and bad. Right. Just because I'm low on health, I'm just going to make sure I, like, get the damage in. Ooh. Go nuts, come on. Damn it, really? Hmm. Come on. I'm not talking because I don't want to die. <laughs> I'm tired of doing retakes, man. Like, I've done so many retakes on this. So, how can you imperfect guard that? Like, don't get it. Like, it makes sense to be able to perfect guard it. Because surely, because, like, what I do is I press my royal guard before I even hit him. And I get a perfect guard most of the time. I don't understand why, like, 
30% of the time I get an imperfect guard. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Because surely you're blocking on the first frame, right? Okay, there we go. But if anyone understands that, then let me know, because I have no fucking clue. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Come on. Come on, bitch. Grab me. That's right, you can, you little cunt. Easy. It's gonna explode in a second. There we go. Ooh, that was scary. <laughs> right. I wonder if there's any hell flying around. Because if I'm gonna style on this boss like I said I would, then health is a must. Come on, green orbs, nice. Yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna get. Oh, no, there we go, there's a bit more. Uh, fuck. Okay, so I don't have many tips for um, Bale slash Dagon. Because uh, it's very similar to the Nero fight, it's just, you know, avoid the obvious stuff that's gonna kill you. Don't lock yourself into long animations like I just did. Damn it, I got caught. Duh, 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 duh. Damn. So when he does this, you can use Pandora. And you can just build up some free bar that way. That will allow you to do big damage later on. Damn, too slow. But yeah, it's, it is just a matter of just dodging the stupid shit that will hurt you. Shall I style? Shall I risk having to do the video again? I don't know. I'll try it like once or twice. Die, die, die. Man, I don't like this bit. <laughs> like, it's okay, but... Oh. Can I royal guard this? You can royal guard that! Oh my god. What can you not Royal Guard, man? That's brilliant. <laughs> Damn it. I was in the wrong thing then. Oh, you can definitely Distorted Real Impact this guy. Damn. Man, what can you not Royal Guard in this game? When I get to Mission 18, shall I try and Royal Guard the Savior's Beam? Or shall I try and do that for the style points? Fuck it, I'm playing Devil May Cry. If you're not trying to be stylish, then why are you even playing this game? Okay, well you can't Royal Guard that, apparently. Oh no, I don't have any Devil Trigger. No, am I gonna die? <laughs> Let me out. That didn't break me out, that's horse crap. Oh no. Alright, I don't want to die and have to do it again, so I'm gonna play it safe from here. Wait, what? Okay, I thought the game bugged out for a second. Come on, stay locked on. Man, I hate this now because I've got to be so fucking defensive because I'm scared of just getting grabbed and dying. Whoa, shit. <laughs> if I had more health, I'd be royal guarding that. Or at least trying. But I already lost my health from fucking around. Yeah, yeah, fuck you, bitch. So what I'm going to do when he comes out is I'm going to use a royal release to deal some nice damage. And then hopefully Distorted Real Impact him to death. Man, do I have to deal X damage to these guys before he comes out? I don't know, I've never actually been this low on health against this guy. Well, I have, obviously, but, you know. Oh, she's dodging. Man, one hit and I'm just dead. Ooh, fuck. Sorry, I'm focusing. <laughs> I don't want to fucking have to do all that shit again. Because I haven't prepared any good commentary, so it's going to be fucking awkward. Okay, he's going to come out any second now, surely. Yeah, I think you have to deal X damage to these guys. That sucks. Dude, dude. Okay, here he comes. Doom. 
Damn, I didn't have a devil trigger for DRI. <laughs> nice, got him. Okay. <laughs> I was a bit worried there for a second. Fuck me. <laughs> oh no, is there more fighting? Oh no, this is where you start to deal with the poison, right? Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> that was fucking scary. Man, I didn't know you could Royal Guard the charge though. So I guess you can Royal Guard like basically anything. Aside from that fucking Rasolka thing, grab thing where it freezes you in ice. Like that obviously you can't Royal Guard. Because it's not a hit, I guess. Because it doesn't actually deal damage. So I guess that's probably why. So what else wouldn't you be able to Royal, Royal Guard then? Could you Royal Guard the Agnes grab? Like, you know, when he like, you know, says, um, Your strength will be mine! And then just grabs you and drains your shit. Like, I wonder if you could Royal Guard that. Probably not, right? I don't know. It depends if it's code as a hit or a grab or not, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> talking a bunch of nonsense. Thanks for watching the video, guys. And I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.